Michel Cormier, 15 years ago, about this time, uh, you were in Afghanistan um, after a very uh, tragic incident that involved uh, Western reporters. And uh, a lot has changed in the way news organizations cover the war. How have you seen these changes, how, both as a reporter on the ground and now as a news manager? Well, before we were just babes in the wood. We didn't know, we weren't aware of the dangers, I think, of the, in any way of, of protecting ourselves either from, you know, ballistic issues or even from, from disease or car accidents. And we had no training whatsoever ever in first aid kits, uh, in first aid medicine or anything. So, I mean, I think Afghanistan changed the way we prepared and covered wars. Uh, for one thing, we were not in, the, in conventional wars. Now we were part of, perceived as part of the enemy. Uh, we were in more guerrilla warfare situations where there is no clear line of fire front. So that was different. And secondly, I mean, we've learned that uh, we need to to know how war works, what kind of weapons we're up against, so what's the trajectory of bullets, uh, how far they travel, uh, you know, through what they actually uh, move, uh, whether it's a brick wall or, you know, a car tire. So I think, you know, we've, that was a wake-up call for most of journalists at the time. Since then, we've professionalized this. I mean, most, um, or a lot of media now have professionals on staff who actually whose main job is to actually make sure that journalists are equipped and trained to go into war situations or even domestic situations which we may present you know different kinds of danger so i think that is the big difference now we've been, we've become aware and we've taken measures to make sure that the whole thing is professionally um, operated